So get those panels done. Then when it comes to the receding, the receding isn't necessarily a nutritional deficiency. The receding is a function of essentially the oral care, the oral uh, hygiene regime that you particularly have. If you leave that plaque on the gum line for, for long enough, it will feed the bacteria. The bacteria will then eat away at the supporting structures of the teeth. And that will then lead to a reduction in, in, in the gum stripping down, causing the recession. So if you have swollen and bleeding gums, that makes it more difficult to clean. As a result of that, you know, it can also be more sensitive. So then you don't want to clean as much so it, because it might be hurt, hurting and, and, and be tender. And then because of that, you're then leaving it and not brushing it as much. And because you're leaving it, the plaque is still there. It's feeding the bacteria. They then get more swollen and bleed more. And they can also recede the gums as well. So there's a bit of a sort of back and forth uh, vicious circle a cycle going on there um, in terms of those things. But those symptoms alone are indicative that something systemic is happening because you see that coming through. Uh, for example, if you're taking calcium channel blockers like amlodipine, you can, I can actually see that in the gums. I don't need to see a medical history. I can probably guess that just from looking at their teeth. So there's, I think, yeah, Steve's right. There's quite a few things going on. Um, I would, yeah, do probably two blood tests personally, in my opinion, um, try and mimic the conditions of both, you know, your fasting state, the sleep, when you last went to the gym, when you last ate, all those things and take the average of those two and then start to try and figure out what's, what, what to do from, from that point, I would say.